Hi, let's discuss a very interesting thing today. We know that maths not only deals with numbers but also with shapes. One interesting shape in maths is a star. It can be a star like this or like this or like this. Have you ever wondered what the sum of the corner angles of these stars will be? For example, what will be the sum of corner angles of this star also known as pentagram or a five-pointed star? There are several methods to find it out. One can be by inscribing it in a circle. Let's see how this works. We should know that a regular pentagon can be inscribed in a circle. Therefore, a pentagram like this can also be inscribed in a circle. So let's do it. Now one thing about inscribed angles is that the measurement of an inscribed angle is half the measurement of the intercepted arc. This means the measurement of an arc is equal to double the measurement of the inscribed angle subtended by it. Here this arc subtends the angle A, therefore it will be equal to 2A. Similarly, this arc subtends angle B, so it will be equal to 2B. And with the same logic, we can deduce that this arc will be equal to 2C, this arc will be equal to 2D and this arc will be equal to 2E. Now we know that a circle has 360 degrees all the way around the center. Therefore, 2A plus 2B plus 2C plus 2D plus 2E equals to 360 degrees or A plus B plus C plus D plus E equals to 180 degrees. Now, if the pentagonal star is not a regular pentagonal star, it might not be done this way because it might not be possible for 5 given random points to be inscribed in a circle every time. In cases where it is possible, we can use this method. Let's see how to do it when this will not be a regular star but a 5 pointed star something like this. In this case, we can use a geometric method or the exterior angle property of triangles to solve this. We know the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles. This means in this triangle PQR, angle PQT equals to angle P plus angle R. Let's now look onto the pentagram. We can see there is this triangle whose one exterior angle is angle AXY. Using the same logic, that is, of an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles, we can say here angle AXY equals to B plus D. Similarly, there is another triangle, this, whose one of the exterior angles is angle AYX. Therefore, angle AYX equals to C plus E. Now, we also know that the sum of all three interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. In our pentagonal star, let's look at triangle AXY. Angle A, angle AXY, and angle AYX are the three interior angles of the triangle AXY. So their sum will be equal to 180 degrees. We now replace the value of angle AXY an angle AYX with B plus D and C plus E respectively and that will give us angle A plus B plus D plus C plus E equals to 180 degrees. Now we can also find this out with width. Let's place an arrow going along one side in the pentagram. If we want to see it practically we can place a pencil on one of the sides of this star. We should be careful not to mess up with the direction of the pencil. Let's start by placing the pencil on AC pointing at A. Let's now rotate it through A so much as to make it lie on AD. We see that its arrow is pointing to A. Then we rotate it through D so that it lies on BD. We can see that it is pointing at B. 
we then rotate it through b so much as to make it coincide with b e the arrow is again pointing at b let's now rotate it through e so that it now lies on e c we can see that the arrow is pointing towards c finally let's rotate it through c so that it lies on c a we can see that the arrow is now pointing towards c and guess what the direction of arrow has changed it is now in opposite direction to its starting point that means it has rotated by 180 degrees it means the angle sum of pentagram is 180 degrees so we know that the sum of all the corner angles of a five pointed star will be 180 degrees no matter whether or not it's regular now among these stars let's see what the sum of all the angles of a six pointed star will be let's see if we can use the inscription method yes we can we can use this method in case of a regular six pointed star it is because a regular hexagon can be inscribed in a circle and therefore a regular hexagram or six pointed star can also be inscribed in a circle we said earlier that the measurement of an inscribed angle is half the measurement of the intercepted arc here angle a has intercepted arc ec therefore arc ec will be twice of angle a because angle b has intercepted arc df arc df will be twice of angle b similarly arc ea will be 2c arc fb will be 2d arc ac will be 2e and arc bd will be 2f we know that a circle has 360 degrees around its center from the diagram it's clear that here arcs 2a 2c and 2e complete a circle and therefore should be equated to 360 degrees which gives us a plus c plus e equals to 180 degrees let this be equation 1 we can also see arcs 2b 2d and 2f they complete a circle and therefore should be equated to 360 degrees too which then will give us b plus d plus f equals to 180 degrees let this be equation 2 because we want to know the sum of angles a b c d e and f let's add equation 1 and 2 This gives us a plus c plus e plus b plus d plus f equals to 180 degrees plus 180 degrees which is to say a plus b plus c plus d plus e plus f equals to 360 degrees which is our required answer therefore the sum of corner angles of a six pointed star will be 360 degrees In case of an irregular six-pointed star, we can add the sum of interior angles of a triangle property to find out the sum. Here, the sum of corner angles of this star will be equal to the sum of angles of triangle AEC and that of triangle BFD. Adding the sum of angles of these two triangles will get the sum of corner angles of this six-pointed star to be 360 degrees again. So you could see how the difference between angles in a pentagram and hexagram is only one but the difference between their angle sums differ by 180 degrees Do like and subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos